The church planning journey this past year has been both challenging, but so joyful, really hard, but really incredible. I think the best thing about this whole church planting journey has been hearing stories of how the Lord has moved in people's lives through our church community. I want to introduce you to my friend Teresa. Her and her sister Vanessa got plugged into our community last year. And here's a bit of her story and how she got plugged in to our community. My name is Teresa Lee. I got connected to Passion through Jeremy, who is someone I'm dating right now. I was back in New Zealand and he was here, so we were still doing long distance, but I had wanted to move here eventually, I'll move back I guess. Um, so I got connected through Zoom, thanks to COVID. There were online community group sessions and that's where I met everyone at church. I didn't like have that strong of a church community in New Zealand. Yeah, all through my life actually, I've, I felt like I've been just church hopping, um, never really settled. So I was just really pumped to just see where this community would take me. Um, and yeah, just meeting everyone was really awesome. And I just felt like just such a good connection with everyone and it just felt like family right off the bat. Yeah, so moving is tough. I live here in Vancouver with just my sister, Vanessa. And so for some context, we come from a very large family, but our parents aren't here right now. Um, and so Passion has really been that family for us here. Um, so much goes into just a healthy ecosystem of life. Um, and we just need so much help and love and so much support and prayer and we really have found that through passion. Um, a specific example was in October 20th, so just like three months ago I had an ACL reconstruction surgery um, and everyone was just so willing to help out in just so many different ways. Jeremiah drove me right after my appointment and um, turned around last minute when I needed gravel because I was throwing up. Different people drove me to physiotherapy, um, drove me to church. We had food sent to our house, like money sent on skip the dishes and all of those things and DoorDash. And we just felt really, really blessed and supported through that season. Um, and we just felt like we have family here thanks to the passion community. The biggest difference regarding my faith and I guess my understanding of Christianity and Jesus and church and what all that means is probably to do with this idea of unconditional and unearned love and support. Um, my method of being plugged into church and community has always been through serving. This understanding of, okay, if I serve in church, then people will like me and I will be accepted and I will have community. Um, but my experience with passion and being at this church has been really different. It was almost flipped. Um, before I had even served or done much, to be honest, I felt loved and accepted and supported and I felt like people were willing to go out of their way to show that they love me. And also that church is not just like a Sunday gathering, it is living life in relationship and community with other people. My encouragement to someone probably stuck where I was last year is to pray and ask God for community. Um, I think there's so many different churches for so many different kinds of people and um, I think it's important to be plugged into a local church um, where you can find community and a home. With 2023 approaching, I am most excited to meet new people. I think just to see people like me who have experienced the same thing or not, or just whatever season they are, if they're looking for community, I'm excited to see and to meet them and to see if this would be a right fit for them and to also um, just do life with them. Yeah, I think the awesome thing about believing in Jesus is that um, because of this person, we are now, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ, and that is our position, you know, it's not something that we have to earn, um, it's just something that we have to receive and to acknowledge that that is who we are, because of Jesus. 
Stories like Teresa's is why we take on this crazy calling of church planting. I just want to say thank you to so many of you who have cheered us on and partnered with us both in prayer and finances. And so as 2022 comes to a close and perhaps you're considering how can I partner with Passion Church, there's two ways. First is prayer. If you'd like to jump on our prayer update, uh, which we send out roughly at the end of each month, just little testimonies of how God has moved in the life of our church. You can email us at info at passionchurch.ca and we will get you connected. And secondly, through your finances. And so you can head over to passionchurch.ca slash give and click on that button that says give online and it'll take you to a separate screen and it'll just require just some basic information, which is important for your tax return, tax receipt in the new year. So again, thank you so much. Um, it's really exciting to see what God is doing. And we as a community are looking forward to what God is up to in 2023 in Metro Vancouver.